welcome back to another quick fix. Um, we've got uh, Bernie Sanders helping us today, which is nice. And today we're going to look at the Mamiya RZ Pro 2 replacing the fine focus wheel. Are we ready? Here we go. Okay, first off, let's get rid of the focus knob cover on the uh, right hand side of the camera. Underneath there, there is a little screw in the middle. Get your JIS screwdriver. Don't use any others. They won't work. Put that in my metallic dish, uh, magnetic dish. Pleasing. Okay, next we're going to lever out the plate carefully. There we go. Plate's out. Next, there's a nut on the inside of the focus wheel if you've got hands of steel like me you can just do it like that otherwise use a spanner then the focus wheel the course focus wheel unscrews done put that to one side now we've got the fine focus wheel the bit that you turn with your hand that just slides off and now the fine focus wheel on the inside of the camera is in that slot there. So what we've got to take off is the bottom plate and the top plate. And this is how we do it. Let's start with the bottom plate. JIS screwdriver, no messing about. Okay. There are six screws to take out. One. Two. Three. Four. And then two really little crafty ones here. Um, I'll maybe zoom in on the video for this if I can work out what I'm doing. Um, if you look, just move the winding lever away from you a little bit and you'll see that there and there, there are two crafty little rubber stoppers. And if you unplug those little stoppers using a craft knife, a small screwdriver, something like that, Underneath, there are two screws to get out. Be careful, don't split it. You know, they're worth a lot of money, these cameras now. Um, so let's take that one out. Number one, put it in the dish. Number two. Yeah. Then underneath there, uh, you've got two more screws to come out. Let's get rid of those. So in total, six screws on the lower body cover. done and then the lower body plate will just slide off beautiful put that to one side okay there is the offending wheel in the case of this camera one of the tooth teeth is broken off so i'm going to be replacing that with a 3d printed gear there it is beautiful right um the link to download the 3d file for this 3d gear i'll post below um uh, let's take off the top cover which is five body screws let's go they are one two three four and one just behind the mr lever there five so let's get rid of those Here is a quick tip. Quick tip. Magnetic dishes are really useful for keeping your little screws and springs and all that kind of stuff. And the benefit of them is that your screws are going to stick to them and not move around. So when I'm taking a piece off a camera, for example, this lower body piece off a Mamiya RZ67, we'll notice we've got one, two, three, four, five, six screw holes. So when I put my screws in the dish, I will put them in laid out like that so i know where they go back so for example one two three those are the three screws on the bottom row four five six four five six so when i come to reassembling everything i can see which hole each of the screws go in and because it's in a magnetic dish none of the screws move around wallop quick tip 
Okay, so with five body screws removed from the upper body half, we can now take off the MR lever. You're gonna need a spanner wrench, comme ça. Um, won't need much pressure on it and try not to scratch it. Do you know what I mean? Be a bit careful, you guys. Um, here we go, let's just take that off. It won't need much. If it does need much, you're doing it wrong, okay? Try and turn the rest of it with my finger. Prevent the scratchatives. Okay, that retaining nut comes off there. The MR lever slides off there, beautiful. So with all of that disconnected now, you should be able to slide out the top, the top panel. You. That's that done. There's our fine focus gear. There's the offending article. And that's held on with a little circlip or split ring or whatever you call them in your country. So that's going to need to come off. If you've got mini circlip pliers, you can use that. I don't have any that go that small. So I just use a couple of precision, whoa, a couple of precision um, screwdrivers. So here we go. Let's take that off. Okay, with the circlip off, you can now take off the fine focus gear. Ta -da. It's got a tooth missing. You probably won't be able to see that on the video. And now all we need to do is reassemble the camera in the reverse order of everything that we've just done whilst attaching our brand new 3D printed fine focus lever. Put it all back together and bish bosh bash, you've got a beautiful RZ67 Pro 2 again. Bye.